Hello, my dear students. A very warm welcome in the next lecture. The topic is goal setting. Now, as you can see in this picture, that there is a man who is trying to climb up the mountain. Do you think he'll be able to climb up, or he will just fall down? Yes. There comes the role of goal. If he has a goal and he has settled it in a very appropriate manner, he will definitely get there. He will definitely be able to achieve whichever goal he has set in front of him. Let's discuss about goal setting theory of motivation. In 1960s, Adrian Locke put forward the goal setting theory of motivation now why the word motivation is being associated with goal or goal setting reason being we all have certain goals in our lives whether these are short term goals or long term goals but the moment we accomplish those goals we definitely feel motivated that self moral that self motivation comes from within so here the goal setting plays a pivotal role for self motivation so these two terms are closely associated with each other this theory states that goal setting is essentially linked to task performance what do you mean by task performance whenever you are trying to perform a task you again need to have a goal only then you can perform a task well isn't it we'll be discussing in detail in the upcoming slides don't worry about that it states that specific and challenging goals along with appropriate feedback contribute to higher and better task performance here as you could read what does it state that it has specific and challenging goals along with appropriate feedback now from where that feedback is going to come that feedback will be either from the person in front of whom we have actually accomplished that goal or we ourselves are going to give a feedback to ourselves only then we'll feel accomplished we'll feel relaxed it contribute to higher and better task performance if we are encouraged if we are motivated we'll definitely be targeting for and for a higher aim for a higher goal and only after that we'll be performing in a better manner in simple words goals indicate and give direction to an employee about what needs to be done and how much efforts are required to be put in this is very simple goals what do the goals indicate they give direction to an employee about what is needed what is the need of the hour if i have the goals if i have a the specific direction only then i'll be able to know what is the need of the hour and towards that only towards that direction only i'm going to set my goal i'm going to work on the basis of the need of the hour and next he says and how much efforts are required to be put in if i have set my goal i am sure how many or how much efforts do i need to put in to accomplish a particular task all right the next one okay now what does lock has here for us lock has given goal setting theory as we have already discussed and in that theory he has given us five points and these five points are first one he says clarity what does it mean you need to be very very clear you need to have a very clear vision whatever you want to accomplish only then you can set a goal and 
plan it accordingly second challenge it has to be challenging if it is not challenging you are not going to work hard my dear you will not do anything to accomplish it so keep it a keep it a challenging one not an easier one third one is commitment stay committed don't think that if you are not committed to your work you are going to do your work honestly so you need to be committed to the work you need to be committed to the goal to accomplish whatever goal you have fixed for yourself and then feedback that we have already discussed that the feedback after you complete your goal you accomplish your goal you get a feedback and you feel contented that contentment is your feedback and through that feedback you feel motivated and through that motivation what comes the next goal a more challenging one and then the outcome would be a better task performance last but not the least he says task complexity this i have already discussed uh, task complexity that whatever task you are going to perform it has to be in a, a kind of complex so that you feel that something has challenged you when you face challenges only then the best comes out of you if you do not face a challenge you will remain like this you are not going to go beyond your limits and always remember that you are the one who set limits for yourself it's no one else who sets the limits so just go beyond your limits challenge yourself try to accomplish the tasks which are complex ones right next one okay here he is going to talk about the important features of goal setting theory are important features first one he says the willingness to work just see here willingness to work when he says willingness to work what does he mean if you are not willing to work nobody can make you work even during this lockdown period if i do not want to confine myself in the four walls of the home nobody is going to impose that on me isn't it you must have been uh, watching news channels flooded with these kind of news that people are going out of their houses people are roaming around and the police constables and the police officers everybody is behind them uh, with a stick so that willingness is there it is working undoubtedly it's working in a negative manner but it is working so willingness to work now here if we talk about to work if i am willing to work i find out a way to work if i i am willing to study i find out a way here we have the uh, first of most important feature that willingness to work towards attainment of goal is main source of job motivation clear particular and difficult goals are greater motivating factors than easy general and vague goals this we have already discussed second point he says specific and clear goals lead to greater output and better performance obviously this also we have discussed earlier but uh, let's talk about it a little bit more that unambiguous measurable and clear goals accompanied by a deadline for completion avoids misunderstanding what does it mean unambiguous what do you mean by ambiguity means when you have more than one meaning of one particular word a kind of blur vision when you have you are not clear in your mind it's very vague so that ambiguity should not be there it has to be unambiguous measurable you should be able to see by what time during how much duration you will be able to accomplish certain task for which you have set your goal and a deadline of course deadline has to be there so that we are able to avoid any kind of misunderstanding only then we can accomplish our goal on 
time so this is uh, again uh, one of the important features of goal setting time management this is what i have just talked about no matter how many watches how many clocks how many uh, wrist watches towers you have at going to manage your time by just keeping the watches at home you need to manage it by making a timetable what time do i need to wake up what time do i need to take bath what time do i need to study how much time do i need to uh, assigned to a particular task so all these things all these details are going to make you accomplish your goal on time without any kind of confusion without any kind of conflict so third one this is again feature of goal setting goals should be realistic and challenging should not be imaginary obviously you should not fantasize that uh, you are going to achieve a big house one day and you are just uh, staying at home lying in your bed and dreaming about accomplishing a uh, sorry uh, getting a home my dear you are not going to get that home until you work for it and how will you work for it you can work for a particular thing you can uh, meet your dream only and only if you set a goal in a very systematic manner so this gives an individual a feeling of pride triumph when he attains them and sets him up for attainment of next goal this we have already discussed the more challenging the goal the greater is the reward generally and the more is the passion for achieving it it does happen believe me Achieve. if your short term goal it will definitely push you it will give you a passion within you inside you that you must uh, try to accomplish a long term goal now so always remember that more the challenging your goal is going to be the more you are going to get the reward and the more passionate you are going to be to achieve that particular frame your goals here i have a a little bit mnemonics if you remember i'll be uploading next video related to mnemonics only uh frame here we are going to expand these uh, five letter word f stands for fantasize turn your fantasies into goals if you fantasize to buy a particular car if you fantasize to buy a particular banglo a television a set of double bed a dining table anything just turn your fantasies into your goals second reality work hard and turn your fantasies into realities if we set a goal only then we'll be able to turn our fantasies into reality aim set high yet realistic goals by balancing fantasy and reality now here what does it mean okay uh, let's say there is a situation that uh, there is a person who belongs to a very humble family humble family means he earns let's say around uh, 10000 per month and he dreams of buying a bungalow on the maybe nearby the president's house or in the posh area of chandigarh delhi or anywhere the posh area so that is going to make him a, f- a fantasy seeking guy because he is just imagining the things he is not being realistic he needs to set an aim which is in his limits limits here means that the things which he can accomplish he can make a realistic thing only then he'll be able to achieve that particular goal method decide which goals you want to accomplish and define how you will accomplish them simple evaluation review your progress and reflect on your successes and failures this part is very very important if i have evaluated myself 
whatever I have done throughout the day, throughout the month, uh, whatever whichever steps I have taken to accomplish my goal, which will take me further to my goal, only then I'll be, uh, I'll feel motivated. I'll feel that uh, my these are my successes and these are my failures. Uh, this will definitely enrich me this will definitely enhance my knowledge regarding myself then better and appropriate feedback of results directs the employee behavior and contributes to higher performance than absence of feedback feedback is a means of gaining reputation making clarifications and regulating goal difficulties it helps employees to work with more involvement and leads to greater job satisfaction. This we have already discussed, so I don't think I need to elaborate it more. So what do we have here? What do we have here? We have seven steps for goal setting. First step is you need to identify goals. Second is set. Uh, first one is identify goal. Second one is set objectives. Third one, list the obstacles. Fourth one, identify people. You need to identify people who are going to be an obstacle, hindrances and those who are actually going to help you. Fifth one is list skills, whichever you have. Develop a plan and then list benefits. So these seven steps we need to, we must take when we are trying to set a goal. Fifth feature of goal setting is employees participation in goal is not always desirable. Now, employees participation in goal is not always desirable. Participation of goal setting, a setting goal, however, makes goal more acceptable and leads to more involvement. If somebody participate, if somebody participates in setting goal, it will definitely make a person more acceptable and the goal, whichever the goal the person has set for himself or herself will lead to more involvement. Okay, a goal without a plan is just a wish. It's very true. If you have a goal, if you have a goal but you haven't planned how to attain it, how to be successful in achieving that goal, you are definitely going to fail, my dear. So you need to pay heed to this particular part of planning whatever you wish to attain advantages of goal setting here we are going to do advantages of goal settings first one is goal setting is a technique used to raise incentives for employees to complete okay i'll see again goal setting is a technique used to raise incentives for employees and complete work quickly and effectively simple time management if you want to accomplish your task on time you need to have a timetable the hourglass the pins the pin you need to pinpoint the tasks which are important ones or which are least important ones so you need to arrange them accordingly all right next advantage is goal setting Goal setting leads to better performance not only by increasing motivation and efforts but also through increasing and improving the feedback quality. Limitations. Yes, of course it has limitations as well. First one is at times the organizational goals are in conflict with the managerial goals. Goal conflict has a detrimental effect on the performance if it motivates incompatible action drift. For example, there is a clash between the goal which the company has and the goal which, uh, which the person, the employee has. If there is a conflict, there is going to be a big problem. 
for example let's say uh, the manager of the company he wants to rise high and he wants to be a ceo of the company and the ceo of the company does not want to be uh, does not want to move ahead he wants to remain that there only and wishes to just raise his company to another level now there is going to be a conflict because the ceo is working hard on proving himself a benefit and asset to this to this company whereas the manager is trying to push himself to be the ceo so there is going to be a clash in the goal setting so the loss would be of both the people second limitation very difficult and complex goals stimulate riskier behavior okay if i am a fish and i try to climb a tree of course i cannot so i need to know that i am a fish and i can swim in the water only i cannot climb the tree here uh, that is the example of this limitation third one if the employee lacks skills and competencies to perform actions essential for goal then the goal setting can fail and lead to undermining of performance for punish there is no evidence to prove that goal setting improves the job satisfaction so they have actually towards the end of this topic uh, discussion of this topic we have segregated these two parts that goal setting is not directly connected with the job satisfaction because goal setting may also be related to personal satisfaction if i am i am a late riser uh, let's say uh, i do i am not able to wake up early in the morning so what i'll i'll do i'll just try to wake up early in the morning and it will give me personal satisfaction not job satisfaction so goal setting is related to the smart work be specific measurable attainable relevant and timely so we need to set our goals according to this smart work is required in this era not um, along with the hard work if you are working hard but you lack in the smart work you will lag behind so you need to have a good amalgamation of these two um, elements and these two potentials only then you may succeed so for the steps we need to take to be successful are you need to start you need to think you need to analyze the things plan the things try do the things do it again do it again and keep and keep on doing finally there will come a day when you will succeed i end my lecture here i'll see you in the next lecture in which we are going to discuss about the mnemonics which we have just touched a little bit in this lecture i hope you have understood the entire concept of goal the goal setting if you have any kind of query related to this topic kindly write in the comment box below so that i may i can respond to your queries uh, i'll see you in the next lecture stay at home stay safe study hard thank you